Yo, what is up guys? Delboy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So some interesting news coming out of the Super Featherweight division. WBC champion Miguel Burchelt will defend his title on the 20th of February against Oscar Valdez at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. Of course, this will be a top rank show. Now, in my opinion, this is a pretty fun fight. Stylistically, both guys are aggressive, both guys take risks, both guys carry some sort of punching power, and, you know, put these two guys together in the ring. This, this one should really gel for a fan-friendly fight. Now, me personally, I rate Miguel Burchelt quite highly. Um, he's an aggressive guy who carries great punch volume. He's big and strong for the weight class, carries power in both hands, and he's quite crafty in a lot of ways. Um, and all around, I think he's a very good fighter. In fact, I've been very disappointed that Burchelt hasn't tried to unify in the super featherweight division. I do believe he can beat a couple of champions in that weight class right now. I'm talking about guys like Jojo Diaz and Jamel Herring. I honestly believe this guy would beat those guys, but for whatever reason, he's been getting cold feet in regards to unifying at Super Featherweight, and that has been disappointing. However, the Oscar Valdez fight, while it's not the fight I exactly want right now, I don't think it's a bad fight. Of course, Oscar Valdez himself, um, he was a decorated amateur, he fought in the Olympics, he is unbeaten, 28-0 with 22 knockouts. He was a former uh, WBO featherweight champion. Offensively, he's quite a talented fighter. You know, carries power, decent hand speed, decent combinations, good punch technique. And honestly, when Oscar Valdez turned pro in his first few fights, I was extremely excited about this guy's career. You know, before he won the title, he was destroying guys like uh, Evgeny Granovich, for example, Chris Avalos. When he was running through these sort of guys, I was very high on Oscar Valdez. But for me, he's not quite developed into the fighter that I expected him to be. And for me, in the last couple of years or so, he's been kind of treading water as a fighter. I've not really seen any improvements from Oscar Valdez. And to me, it looks like he's become, become a bit stale, sorry. So to me, maybe this is the sort of fight that he needs right now against a really dangerous opponent, somebody in which he's going to be extremely motivated to fight. You know, Miguel Burchelt brings that danger, he brings that power, he brings that size, he brings that strength. Maybe that's going to bring the best out of Oscar Valdez. You know, like I say, he's not been looking great in recent years. And sometimes these fighters, they need to take a fight against somebody which, you know, maybe scares them a little bit and actually motivates them. When you're fighting guys in which you believe you're going to beat, you know, that's when that's when complacency sets in. That's when a fighter becomes stale. Maybe Oscar Valdez can use this as a springboard to realise that potential that he had when he turned pro. But um, having said that, I believe the task at hand is exceptionally difficult. Miguel Burchell is the bigger man, of course. Oscar Valdez coming up in weight. Uh, Miguel Burchelt is a huge super featherweight, he really is, he'd be quite a big lightweight in all honesty, and given how Oscar Valdez fights kind of face first, he takes a lot of risks, that's going to play into Miguel Burchelt's hands, you know, Burchelt himself isn't exactly hard to hit, he defensively sometimes he makes mistakes, but when you, when you have this sort of fight, when one guy is physically superior to the other, you would imagine the bigger guy, the bigger, stronger guy, is going to be able to take more punishment than the smaller guy. So, listen, I believe Oscar Valdez in this fight is going to give it a good go. He's going to show real resistance against Burchelt. He may give Burchelt some problems, may buzz him here and there, but ultimately, you have to really favour the size and strength of Miguel Burchelt. And quite frankly as well, just, just going by recent form, Miguel Burchelt has looked the more accomplished fighter, the more confident fighter, and he's the guy with more momentum going into this fight. But nevertheless, like I said, stylistically, this one cannot be a boring fight. I'd be shocked, no matter how this, way, this fight goes, even if it's one-sided, it's going to be brutal, there's going to be blood, there's going to be guts, there's going to be action, it's going to be a fun fight no matter what way it plays out. So, yeah, all in all, is it the fight I, I really, really wanted from Miguel Burchelt? Probably not, but at the same time, is it the worst fight in the world? No. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Decent main event, an all-Mexican battle. Um, that they usually deliver for great wars, so 
I'm all for it, really. Share your thoughts below. Beanie Guy Del Boy. Peace.